Sierra Space is building the Dream Chaser space plane, which is the world's only commercial private space plane. And the greatest part about the Dream Chaser is it can land on a runway anywhere in the world. It's gonna really open up space for everyone and allow more science and humans to go to space and come back on a gentle runway landing. The Dream Chaser is an incredibly sophisticated vehicle. What you see behind me is serial number one, so it is our first full production vehicle. It will make a trip to the International Space Station carrying cargo, replenishing the needs of the space station and the astronauts that are up there. 3D printing has been uh, very effective at helping us produce the vehicle. We largely use uh, Stratasys and their machines to help us develop tooling. Some of the specific tools that we're building are locating fixtures that we use to place the thermal protection tiles on the vehicle. We have to produce these chucks for basically every tile. We have a, a couple thousand of them on the vehicle. In the analysis that we did, it very quickly built a case for uh, using 3D printing to do these chucks and be able to go forward. We we're probably looking at tens of thousands of hours of savings. Being able to turn around a part within a week compared to taking four weeks is a huge cost savings. The ability to not have to go to a five axis machine and basically whittle out a machine part or a machine fixture. You can put the Ultima in the machine, let it run, and you're ready to go literally hours later. For the Dream Chaser program, we will have on the order of five to 10,000 unique parts that we'll use for alignment features when we do installation on the vehicle all of different geometries and locations on the vehicle. We're also getting ready now to do a lot of drill fixturing to facilitate the fabrication throughout the vehicle. The other use that's now becoming more and more prevalent is actually doing engineering mock-ups. Like this here I'm standing next to is an engineering mock-up from our propulsion group that is doing a large hydrogen engine. We have two Fortis 900s. They're running 24 seven to help us build soft tooling. Eventually, we will start to build parts though uh, for the vehicle. Top three uses of the Fortis 900, I would rank them probably as accuracy, total throughput and production size, and the ease of use of the machine. This vehicle will go Mach 25 upon re-entry, so speed is sort of the nuance of our business. And in building and producing these vehicles, speed is also very valuable, and that's why we like Stratasys team and their products, because they help us do what we're doing here faster.